Welcome back. Nearly 36 million Americans will move to a new home this year. Summer is the most popular time to pack up. And while it may seem easy to simply find a moving company online, experts say you need to do more. NBC's Tracy Potts explains what you should do to avoid getting ripped off and having your stuff held hostage. Jason Percale hired Best Offer Moving after getting a $250 quote online. We were expecting professionals um, and instead we had three teenagers show up with a moving truck. He says he spent almost $1,000 more than the estimate counting the higher charge and extra cost because the company left things behind. The owner of the company says Percale had a lot more furniture and boxes than he indicated, which required more supplies. Other customers complained too. The Maryland Attorney General took Best Offer Moving to court. A decision's expected in September on whether the company violated state law by threatening to withhold a family's possessions until they paid the extra cash. Most people aren't willing to take the risk that they're going to get their possessions back. And so the moving companies have enormous leverage. The American Moving and Storage Association says California, Florida, New Jersey, and Texas have the most complaints and enforcement. If you have a dispute, the Consumer Protection Division of your state attorney general's office can help. They warn consumers, do your homework. I think you have to, to do effectively background checks on these folks. You can search on the internet. You can ask them for references. And moving professionals say... Which I recommend having the movers come into your home, give you a written estimate. So you can focus on moving, not being taken for a ride. For tips about the best way to organize a move, go to the, go to the Department of Transportation's Protect Your Move site, which can be found on valuenewslive.com by clicking on this story.